What's up everybody, this is Sonny James coming to you once again from the Serato studio in downtown Los Angeles. Today I'm here to talk to you about my top five tips on how to get busy using the brand new Pioneer DJM S11. It's been a good five years or so since the S9 was released and changed the game for many of us in the club and beyond. So now that the highly anticipated DJM S11 has been released, I'm hoping to accelerate your learning curve with it. Let's get it going. Number one, touch screen display. The first noticeable difference that you'll recognize between the DJM S9 and the new S11 is that there's actually a screen on the hardware. This allows us to do a number of things including scrolling our library, toggling on and off, sync, as well as pitch and time, using on-screen touch effects, and viewing the moving Serato waveforms. This added feature to the hardware helps me focus way more on the mixer and the dance floor versus having to look at my computer for half of my set. Let me show you how I use it. Number two, scratch banks. We recently came up with a new feature called scratch banks. When I first found out about it and how it was gonna work, I got really excited because I'm a turntablist and I love scratching and I often find myself digging through my library to find scratch rings and then sometimes I get distracted and don't remember what I was gonna play next. With the new scratch banks feature, we can actually load our scratch sounds into a bank similar to how we load sounds into the sampler. That collection of sounds will then remain in the bank and we can always reference them with just one click. Once you're done with that scratch sound, then you can hold shift and hit any of the hot cues and you'll be bounced right back into the track where you were. Check it out. Number three, Smooth Echo. The brand new Smooth Echo feature is really useful for helping clean up the sound of your transitions. Many of us who use the S9 have gotten used to using these two paddles in order to trigger echo or reverb just to give our mixes a little bit more character when we're mixing out. The brand new Smooth Echo feature automatically adds a little bit of echo just to give your mix just that much more character when you're mixing automatically. The Smooth Echo button is actually located on the lower left hand side of the mixer under the sampler volume. And once you engage it, you can actually hear the slight echo right away. Check it out. Independent pad modes. One of the things that we all got accustomed to using the S9 was only having access to one pad mode at a time, which means that whatever pad mode you're on, whether it be slicer, hot cue, sampler, or loop roll, that's the mode that's currently active across both channels on the mixer. Now with the brand new S11, you actually have access to different pad modes on each channel. This means that if I wanna use hot cues on the left channel, I can use loop rolls, I can access my loops or flips, or use sampler mode on the other side. Check it out. Mr. Sonny James. Now I'm going to access loop roll and beat jump on my left channel. A new feature that many of us are going to get used to using is split pad modes. On the S11, if you hold down the shift button and hit hot cue twice, it will actually place hot cues on your top four pads and it will place samples on your bottom four pads. Your left channel has your first four samples, your right channel has your second four samples. Check it out.
Number five, multiple effects at once. So again, we love the S9, we've gotten used to it, but one of the limitations with it is that you can only access one software effect at a time. That means when you're using Serato and you trigger your software effect, you can only access one of these at a time. Now with the new S11, you can trigger three at a time. Let's see how it sounds. Pretty cool, but that's not something that I would typically do in a club. So I'm gonna take the repeater effect off and instead I'm just gonna use the filter echo and flanger at the same time. Now let's try. I love that. Similar to the S9, in the software effects section of the mixer, your top three effects are for your left channel and your bottom three effects are for your right channel. I should note that both the fader and sound card have been upgraded with this mixer as both Pioneer and Serato listened to your feedback and took it into consideration. There's so many dope new features to explore with this mixer, including touch MIDI and mashup mode, which we're gonna get into in more detail in future videos. So make sure you check out our YouTube channel for that. But again, these are my top five basic tips to get you up and running on your brand new S11 once you get it. Again, this is Sonny James, West Coast Artist Relations for Serato in downtown Los Angeles. I hope this has been helpful. See you guys soon.